This is Bobby Kitain welcoming you to Pathways of Hope 2024. And since it's the new year, uh, I'd like to begin with something funny. Um, I, I remember the story of these two sisters who went to the mall. You know, they spent the whole day in the mall watching a movie. They had lunch there and then they took the bus on the way home. On the ride home, one of the sisters asked the other, she said, Hey, did you bring a car? <laughs> and they found out that, yes, they actually brought a car to the mall, but they forgot all about it. That's why they took the bus on the way home. Now, that's a funny, true story. An anecdote about the tendency of human beings to easily forget. And that is true. Unfortunately, our propensity to forget things can also be applied in the spiritual life. You know, God would do a lot of amazing things in our life. God would do a lot of miracles in our life and we get overwhelmed, we become very thankful, we rejoice with the Lord because we see God's amazing works in our lives. But again, human as we are, we can easily forget. It's called the amnesia of the heart. We can forget God's marvelous deeds in our lives. And that's why when troubles come, when trials come into our life, we easily become afraid. We easily become stressed. We easily become anxious and worried. Why? Because we forget that there is a God who has done marvelous things for us. Now, in today's gospel, Mary is the exact opposite. You see, in today's gospel, in Luke 2, verse 19, Mary treasured everything in her heart. Everything that she, she saw that night. The, the, the three magis, the coming of the shepherds, you know, God providing for them a place where she can give birth. All of these things Mary treasured in her heart. She did not forget. And that's why I think when she went through the difficulty of seeing uh, her son being persecuted in his ministry and eventually being tortured and being crucified on the cross, Mary was able to hold on. Why? Because she treasured everything that she saw that night. She remembered the amazing works of God and that gave her confidence to hold on to her faith in the midst of challenging times. My dear friend, I'd like to give you a practical suggestion, um, especially as you begin this new year. Look back at 2023 and list down all the marvelous things that God has done for you uh, and, 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 and try to just put them down in writing. Why? Why? Because this coming year, uh, you'll never know. Challenges might come. Troubles might come. And when your faith is shaken, it's always good to be able to look back at God's marvelous works, at God's amazing deeds. Because these things would give you the grace to keep on keeping on, to hold on to your faith, and to be victorious over your troubles this 2024. So my dear friend, may God bless you this year, and may you truly remember every day God's marvelous deeds. God bless you.